Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our third quarterfinal in the eight-man Road to Glory tournament. Making his way into the ring, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Giannis Scordillis. <laughs> and now making his way into the ring his opponent please welcome joe johnson Road to Glory alongside Billy O. Creed and Garden Lysau. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the third quarterfinal of our eight-man Road to Glory tournament. Three three-minute bounds in the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, this man stands six feet one inches tall and weighing officially 69.8 kilograms with an official record. 17 wins, five defeats, one draw. Representing Storm Jim from Luton, England. He is the Greek boy, Giannis Skortilis. And his opponent in the red corner, standing six feet one inches tall, weighed in officially 70.8 kilograms, with two wins, one defeat, representing Manor Jim Joe Johnson. Once again, when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. John Blackledge. So, our second reserve with a chance to have the fairy tale ending. We thought he was in the reserve fight, now in the main card, Joe Johnson. But again, up against it, against a ranked fighter in Giannis Gordidis, who I've seen over the years and is really peaking, like some of the other guys that are ranked in this tournament. He's got a real tough fight on his hand, Johnson. Let's just be honest here. It's a big jumping class. He's only had three contests. He's up against a man that's at 23. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a tall order. And in a tournament competition like Glory, it's going to be tough because you know it's a high level. And as I said, Gordidis, I've been happy to follow his career with his coach Amir Subasic and again a man that is now not only worth his rankings but really coming into his own as a competitor and I just feel he'll really want to assert his authority and possibly think I can be out of here quickly if I play my cards right yeah there seems to be already a difference in his physical strength here as well as ability it's just that score deal seems a bit stronger 
And he's, he's, he's started pulling, pushing Johnston back straight away. Well, again, with experience held, I was talking to him before because obviously we, we get a lot of time with the fighters and we talk to a lot of them. As Cordelius, one of the things that's really working for him now is the way they manage weight and when they come in at weight and how they prepare for it. And with his experience now, he's finding it easy to stay strong at the weight and not have to lose much. And exactly. well, it's he's all these little things. He's showing in his technique like how sharp he is. He's only not with classic, classic combinations. You know, double left hooks, low kicks, and you know, he's even using the side kick as well. You don't see that too often under these rules, but he's using it very well with that lead leg. And the heavy, heavy body shots as well. He's, he's looking to land a heavy head punch, and if he does connect, it's interesting to see what happens. Well, he lands with the head kick, Howard. Yeah, he's down, even though he blocked it. Just too heavy. He's just the difference in maturity physically, I know there's not much between them in age. Uh, 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 there's only, what, two years between yes. them? Yes, yes. But it's, it's, it seems like a mountain, and once they're in the ring, the experience and the technique. Well, as again, as a ranked fighter, there was a lot of support for Giannis possibly taking this eight man because I said he's on a roll the experience and everything's coming together and another head kick even though it's blocked as you said it's the sheer power yeah it's very it's very, going to be very hard for Joe it's very difficult he really is up against it and if he gets through the entire three rounds that'll be an achievement of sorts for me every time that Giannis opens up there's a sense of danger yes and he's walking you know, something's his man gonna happen. Down. And again, it's that high head kick, Howard. Yeah. It's a stalking. It's, a, it's almost a hunter and prey at the moment. And he's setting up that head kick with the punches. It's a hard lesson to be learned for Joe Johnson. Got to take your opportunity when it comes. It only comes around rarely. No pressure on him in that sense as well. There's not the weight of expectation on him as there is Giannis Skjordilis, who is a ranked fighter oh. and is, is one of the pre-tournament favourites. Yeah, I, I, I get the impression that Joe's a little bit intimidated now as well. You know, he's up against it. He knew that before the contest, but now he, he's hitting home. I mean, he's gutsy. He's taken some heavy leather already to the head from both the head That's kicks and that left hook. Not, nice technique back always. That's the kind of thing he needs to do, you know, to keep himself at distance, keep away from the danger. It's going to be difficult for him, but he's doing the right things. Keep moving back. Keep bright eye, keep your hands up, his hands could be a little bit higher. He's seen the first round out. He has. All credit to him, as I said, Giannis. We saw there, he is one of the ranked fighters. We, we have them in the tournament. And again, like Sam before him though, although he set a, a very fast pace, it wasn't frantic, it was still controlled and yeah. showing the experience. Exactly. It's a controlled movement. And for Joe, he spent so much of his time against you. Simply as you said, there's not a great deal in age, but in terms of ability and experience of the weight, there, there is a gulf. A gulf. I mean, you just saw that um, Scordilli's faked the right hand and threw the left hook to the head. I mean, this kind of, look at that, what a beautiful kick. This guy down is going to go. You know, it's just the weight of the shots coming in. And, you know, he won't have experienced anything like that before. So here we have Scordilis in total control of the opening round. He's got a 10-8 as well. And the problem I feel for Joe is he's shown good technique. He's got real potential, as I said, real talent. But you just feel that Giannis will, will walk through him again to get to where he wants to be. He will do. He's just hunting him. He's, that, 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 there's no other word for it. And you again, know, for all these men, Howard, it's the tournament situation. He'll want him out of there as soon as he can. Yes, he will. Or he'll want a nice, easy warm-up bout. No injuries. Walk on to the next round, ready to go. And again, Giannis, as you said, hunting, stalking that right kick coming up, then stays in the oh, pocket, hands and feet. Joe doesn't know where it's he's coming from. He's faking while he's doing the in between the combinations. It's just excellent stuff. As I said, Joe, full credit to him, doing doing what he can here to stem the tide, but it's it's hard jumping knee now. As Giannis relaxes into his technique. Oh, nice. Joe's trying, he's full of fight, he's trying. And he'll take something from this, whatever happens now. Absolutely will. Absolutely, that was a big body shot, he hurt him. And you saw the way he wanted to get out of the corner, Giannis just didn't allow it, just a little shuffle to the side and keeping him there. Yes. I like Joe Johnson, he's a courageous youngster. Yes, he's doing the right thing, he, he's going for it, that's what glory is all about, that's what they love in their fighters. And I haven't seen a fighter here tonight that hasn't shown real heart here on Glory 2. No, not one. Not one. 
And they've all come in in good shape too. Well, he took a left leg to the head this time. He switched it, Giannis, from the right to the left, and Joe took it well, but the experience is showing in the way he keeps his man where he wants him so he can continue the assault. Yes, it is. There's been no escape from Joe, nowhere to, 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 to get away from it. Now Ooh. he's suddenly just switching down to both thighs. Yeah. You see, that's what's going to work for him. It's going to be very difficult for Joe to defend against the body, the body, the leg kicks and the body shots. And I think Giannis still? was saying to him there with the body shot, I don't know whether it's the gum shield or... Something's come out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is the water? It's water, yeah. yeah. Too much water. Or has he been slightly sick? Yeah, he's, he's sick. been he's sick. He's been sick. Yeah. yeah. I the thought body it was. Shot. The body shot. The body, that last start, body shot. This contest. He can't continue. No, it was that last body shot. And Giannis said, and it, yes, he's been sick. But he's been sick that something went wrong in his preparation. He shouldn't be being sick in the ring. When did he eat, you got to ask. But it's a lesson learned. Surely that's it now, Howard. That'll be it, won't it? It'll yeah. be all over. Be over. Cannot continue like this. It's like you might want to, but not a good idea. Doctor's having a look at him. It was, as you said, it was that body shot. It landed cleanly, and then Giannis noticed immediately, and he just said to the referee, look, he's already... The doctor's allowing it to continue. He says he's he fine. But Giannis, you feel, will step up the pace once more. I've never seen that before. It's the first time in all these decades in the sport that I've seen someone be sick and continue in a contest. Physically sick. And Giannis again targeting those legs once more. He switched back down. Ooh, big right hand and head kick. John's got to be looking at stopping this. John Blackledge has got to be looking at stepping in. 42 seconds left, but he's just taking sustained punishment and he can't win. Giannis is just planting his feet now yeah. with everything. Fair play to young Joe. What a heart. Oh, he's, he's trying. He's taking shots. Well, if there's a medal for bravery, it's going to Joe Johnston. You know, he can't even attempt to come forward, really, in a normal run of play. He's just up against it so much. Oh, it's over, it's over. Yes, John Blackledge just called it. He yeah. said, Joe, as you said, Hart, he's saying, I still want to continue. Don't stop me. But John Blackledge has made the right, right call there. Absolutely. What a gutsy young man, though. But it wasn't just being beaten. He was being dismantled up and down. Yeah. Giannis was playing him like a piano. That's exactly right. Exactly right. There was only one winner. There's no other outcome. But full credit to Joe Johnson, you said, for Hart, you can't fault him tonight. No. How much it meant to him was proved with that performance. Exactly. Yeah, promoters will want him back again. Here we go with the head kick. And another one. How he stayed up, I'll never know, even though he blocked them. The power was, it was so apparent. The jumping knee, and then I said the right hand as well. It was everything, it was from every angle. Then he started to work the legs and the side of the body. Here we go, chopped to the back of the leg. It was up and down the whole range. And it was sustained. There was just no, no let up. That's when he starts being sick. It's that's it, fun. that's the first one, that body yeah. shot. What a gutsy young man, but Giannis was dismantling him. Oh and dear. there it came up. That was the left leg that time, as I said. And just keeps him there. There's no, there's no escape from him. There's nowhere to go. Giannis doesn't let him off the hook at no. all. He's very talented, Scordillis. Very talented. And John Blackledge calling a halt at the right time. Ladies and gentlemen, one of our sponsors, Shannon Broxham from Bilio, would like to congratulate both fighters on an excellent third quarterfinal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our referee and medic called the stoppage and it's about two minutes, 47 seconds of round number two to your winner, Giannis Scordillis.